Hello, everyone. Welcome to your weekly update. My name is Larry McCain with McCain and Associates Realty, powered by Berkshire Hathaway Home Services. I hope all of you are doing well today. It's a beautiful day here in the Sacramento County area. It's, of course, it's been some time since I've had a chance to speak to you all. I've missed you. I love connecting with you because in return, you all reach out to me. In fact, uh, of course, we have been receiving quite a few calls, emails, messages over the course since, I, I would say, uh, since when, when COVID began back in uh, mid-March. And I really want to thank all of you for tuning in, uh, for hearkening to the messages, for reaching out, having friends reach out, family reach out. We've been able to help so many families during this time. Uh, we're blessed. They're blessed. Those who um, took into consideration what we were saying about the market, from the buying standpoint, we were able to get them into some great homes with great values. And we're still working with folks now as the market has shifted a little bit and doing great there as well. And for our sellers, same thing. We've been able to get top dollar for our clients. It's been such just a wonderful experience. So again, thank you to all of you. I appreciate you. God bless you. I thank you. Um, continue to, to come here once a week to get good insight information. Message me if you have folks that you want to hear from or different industries. I am well connected here in the industry in Sacramento, actually throughout the entire Bay Area as well, California. I've got lots of folks I can bring on and I have folks in mind. So we love to bring you, of course, great information. Again, uh, it's been two weeks since I've been here and so much has happened <laughs> uh, in those two weeks. You know, I feel that our country is ready for a new birth. I feel that as a society, we're ready for a new birth, uh, a birth where we all can come together as one humanity, one family, one love, and just share all the goodness that we have to offer. You know, we're here in this reality. We're here in this reality with all of our gifts and talents to help this reality become better, to help this planet become better, to help our solar system become better, everything within it to become better. And so it takes all of us as a team to work together to get to those goals. Just as in any relationship, whether it's a family relationship, a marriage, a business, it takes cooperation from, from all of the parts to make it work. Uh, there's a saying that um, we're only as strongest as our weakest link. I don't like to use that. I like to say we're only as strongest as our strongest challenges because I don't like to say anyone's weak, but if we can address those challenges come together and lift up one another. Oh, there is so much we can do as a people. There is so much we can do as a country. And I, I'm just so happy about that. And what it's gonna require, it's gonna require us to do the things that in a relationship you would have to do. I would like, I have a question for you. Please raise your hand if you are in a relationship, a marriage, a relationship business, where you always call the shots and you always get what you want every day of the week. I don't think it ever exists. I mean, it does in some places. It's really not uh, the most type of functional or healthy of relationships as we know, because a relationship involves taking 100% of one person and 100% of another person and bringing that together to form a new 100%, not a 50-50. It takes all of us together to lay all of our gifts, our talents, our concerns, our challenges, our loves, everything together. And then to be empathetic for one another, with one another to hear each other, different perspectives, so that we can get to a different place. You know, I actually come from those places that were highly uh, picketed, uh, or protested, I should say. Um, I, I come from that, those places. Uh, one day I'd love to share with you my journey. I've had the opportunity and just the fortuitous, the blessings to be able to meet some wonderful people. I've met major business owners of companies, billionaires, had great conversations, just like I'm having right here. Um, and I have also grew up, you know, I was homeless at times as a kid. We struggled mightily and lived off services. And so I always thought, you know, when I get older, I'm going to help people because I know how it feels to, to be without. And so I, I've met some of, you know, those folks in my neighborhoods that can run the best Fortune 500 companies. But unfortunately, the way the structure is set in those communities, it sets them up for failure. In fact, uh, one day I'll share with you a lot of my journey 
and the things that I had to overcome to get to where I'm at today. And I'm just so blessed and thankful. Ultimately, what I want to do in life is to help kids from all walks of life to reach their dreams because it was educators that told me, hey, Larry, you can do anything you want in life. You can do anything you want in life. And here's a kid who, of course, lived in violence and saw violence, uh, just witnessed so many things as a young kid that no young ch child should witness and not having the safety, but then hearing those voices and those people investing into me, believing into me. And, uh, and here I am. Uh, I, I, am, I own two businesses and uh, in, the, in the process of starting a third and I have more uh, on the way as well because I, I just believe that way. We employ people, wonderful people. And this comes from, you know, a place where, you know, they say, pull yourself from your bootstraps. And I always tell people, hey, we didn't have any boots <laughs> or straps to begin with. So it takes a lot of compassion. It takes a lot of compassion. So again, a couple things I want to leave you with there is we have to have empathy for one another. And what that really means is put yourself in their shoes. So before you say anything, put yourself in their shoes and see exactly what they, you know, from their lens, what they're looking at. And that'll help change things a little bit. And then also listen to one another. We have to listen to each other without conjecture, without con condemnation. I mean, I've been guilty of it myself. We're all human. And so when that happens, it's, it's not a time to then point fingers. It's a time to be uh, mature and say, hey, you know what? I love you. Let's talk. Let's talk it out. Let's listen to each other. And that comes to the last point, loving one another as Christ loved the church. So um, whatever your faith is, faith is all about love and respecting each other. So let's certainly do that. We have the opportunity right now in front of us to really reshape our destiny, make a better future for our children, make a harmonious uh, future for everyone. So I encourage you all to continue doing so. And then again, respect each other right now. We're still in COVID nature. Uh, and so I know there's a, there is a, a section of society that believes it's a hoax. The stock market today, of course, would say otherwise. Uh, the investors know really what's going on and we need to get beyond the politics and realize that we are in a health situation and just be mindful and respectful of one another, essentially. The golden rule, do unto others. Let's certainly do that. I uh, wanna talk real quickly about the market and then pivot to one last point. The market is heating up. It is heating up. You would think that we never had a situation called COVID because it is heating up. So if you are a seller and you have been thinking about selling your house, stop right now. Message me, call me. We would love to give you a free analysis on the market. We are known to get top dollar for our clients with great terms. We'd love to help you. And so if you have someone that needs that, definitely have them message us as well. For buyers, it's still a great market for buyers. In fact, you have to, the key is working with the right team that knows how to get your contract accepted. We are very well respected here in this industry. We're able to do that. People know that we come into uh, a contract in, in, with the full goals of getting it completed easily and without angst. So everyone's happy. So give us a call. We definitely would love to help you or any of your friends as well. My last point I'd love to leave for you today is uh, we've got great news. Again, I mentioned earlier that uh, we've got a couple of businesses and we're looking at starting new ones. And so with that, we're looking at hiring. Uh, we're looking at bringing on uh, young agents. If you're an agent out there or you know an agent that uh, is not doing so well or doesn't have the right tutelage, want to get from that you know average four, five, six, seven sales a year to 20 to 30, which is what Dinah and I do, and we're doing this with our other businesses, in addition to, of course, raising our family and really trying to have a balance. We have a great system that we could uh, help educate you on, so definitely have them reach out to us. And of course, keep an eye out on our social media platforms. We're gonna be listing a new job uh, opportunity here for the office, again, because we're growing. I anticipate adding a few uh, new positions here in the next year. So if you're, if you're willing to be, or you wanna be a part of a dynamic, great team, Keep an eye out. We love to talk to you and see what you have to offer. Again, Larry McCain here with McCain and Associates Realty, powered by Berkshire Hathaway Home Services. Thank you again for tuning in to your weekly update. I look forward to seeing you. Uh, <laughs> I look forward to seeing you again soon. You all have a great day. Take care.